Hello everybody, welcome to the show. I'm your host, David Burroughs, and this is our one year anniversary episode number 52. Are you ready? everybody and welcome to the show and yes I got a big smile for you know what I can't help it yay here we are one year 52 episodes one year and it's thanks to all of you wonderful viewers not only are we celebrating one year here on the show it is also our internet world premiere and it's thanks to all of you all the supporters all the viewers and here we are now on the Southern Star Network southernstarnetwork.com the world's largest independent artist website. And we are gonna have a huge audience now, and we're still gonna stay local too, so don't worry about that. I am just so excited, so many things to share with you, a very special episode, jam-packed full, uh, things from the past, right up to current, and of course, as always, some special interviews with our friends here on the show. I gotta tell you, it's been quite a year. It's been a lot of fun and sharing and getting out and meeting so many wonderful people, musicians. We've had uh, jesters on here, comedians. We've been involved in film productions. Uh, well, the list just goes on and on. And what can I say? I'm so, so excited. But you're going to have to watch the whole thing. You do not want to scroll by. You don't want to miss anything. Now, before we get started, I want to say hello and thank you to my friends on the Southern Star Network, southernstarnetwork.com. Make sure you check out everything that's happening around here, all kinds of independent artists, music, promotions, and you're going to see some really neat things happen here with the show. So, uh, I'm really, really excited, but I got a show to do still. Before we get to some of the special things, there are some local things happening here I want to share with you. Coming up this Thursday, November the 1st, Brownstones, you may have been hearing or seeing all the construction down here in Sarnia, Ontario. Brownstones is going to be opening up officially on Friday, November the 2nd to the public, but they are having a red carpet gala and invited myself and the show camera to be down there. We're going to be doing some interviews with some very, very special people on November the 1st, and I uh, can't wait to bring that to you next week's show. But in the meantime, we got a behind the scenes look and talk to some of the people involved in the new Brownstones. And we're going to go right now and talk to John and Mark down at Brownstones. And they're going to share what we can expect to see. So take a look at this interview and we'll be back with some more exciting things. All right, here on the show, and we're very excited because we've got some special guests for our anniversary show and our internet world premiere. We are down at the new Brownstones Sports Lounge here in Sarnia. And uh, we're going to be showing you some exclusive footage behind the scenes. But to talk about what Brownstones is about, owner John Willis. And hey, no dude. relation to Bruce Willis, you said. No relation. That's a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got going on down here at Brownstones? What's, what, what are we going to be seeing here? Well, we, uh, we have a premium casual restaurant here coming in. And uh, it's going to be uh, we have a sports lounge and a dining room with an open concept kitchen. Right. So it's it's probably the first one uh, at this magnitude that Sarnia's ever seen. Right. It's, it's quite large in here, and we'll, we'll show that on the show. Mar and Mark Tatro joining us here. What's your yep. job here, Mark? Uh, I'm Brownstone's marketing director. Okay. Uh, with pride and enthusiasm, I might say. And uh, we're very excited to launch the, the restaurant at Sarnia. I don't think they've seen anything like this on a local level. We look very corporate, but we are... 100% local, right down to the contractors awesome. making uh, yeah. the building to the, to the menu and everything. It's all Sarnia, so that's awesome. That's one thing we want to put forth is that we are made in Sarnia Perfect. for for Sarnia. So. Now, uh, can we talk about the VIP opening that uh, we're going to be having here? You're going to be sure. having here. There, we have a gala event that's being held uh, invitation only on the first, but we go open to the public on the second. Okay. So that's just sort of a treat for a lot of the family and friends who have helped put this place together. For sure. Um, but uh, that's not to say we're excluding uh, our town. Uh, right the next day we're off the hop so awesome. well, we're gonna like red carpet it out here it's gonna be pretty yeah uh, pretty big yeah we've got a, a celebrity host is coming out I think it's is it you I believe Dave? might be I think I could fit it in be out yes, there in the we're gonna be suit. here with the show <laughs> yes and Mayor Mike Bradley will be here for the ribbon cutting as we dedicate our our sports lounge to Sarnia so awesome we're well, very very excited for sure and uh, you know I'm looking around here and I'm seeing a lot of progress from compared to what this used to be in here that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show you some more of that footage coming up right now. So behind the scenes, 
only spot you're going to see it is right here on the show. Guys, thanks so much for right your time, and we'll Thank look you, forward. And congratulations on your opening as well. Thanks, Dave. Okay. Thanks. All right, there you have the owner, John Willis, along with Marketing and Promotions Director, Manager, if you will, Mark Tatro, talking to us, and a little bit of behind-the-scenes look, and they are working hard day and night to get things done. They will have it done. This Thursday, we're having a VIP gala down there, and we're invited to be there with a the show camera, and we'll be doing some celebrity interviews. Some special guests are going to be down there. And I'm very thankful to Bud Gowan Formal Wear here in Sarnia. They have uh, generously donated a tuxedo. They're going to dress me up and try to clean me up as best they can. And we're going to have all that footage for you on next week's show as well. But get down there this Friday to Brownstones because it'll be open to the public. You can go in and check it out. And so it, you just you got to get down there and check it out. It's really cool inside. I was very fortunate to uh, get a behind the scenes look and we'll have some more of that footage once again on next week's show. All right, going to take a really quick break, and when we come back, a very special interview with a very special young lady. You're watching the Southern Star Network in the United Kingdom, Spain, France, Australia, Germany, New Zealand, the Caribbean, Panama, Mexico, Hong Kong, and China. We rock the world. All right, welcome back. Once again, I want to take the time to say thank you to Bud Gowan Formaware, located here in XML Street in Sarnia, Ontario. If you want to find out more about Bud Gowan Formaware, there should be a website on the screen, or go to my website, davidburrows.ws, and click on their logo there. It'll take you right to their page. Thank you so much. Bud Gowan for uh, generously donating a tuxedo for me to wear down at the Brownstones Gala coming up this Thursday, November 1st, right here in Sarnia, Ontario. All right, very, very excited about this interview. Been following this young lady for quite some time, and we've been uh, communicating back and forth. She's been very, very busy. Uh, this up-and-coming Canadian country superstar, I like to call her, uh, is doing very, very well. She recently got back from the CCMA Awards, uh, just back from Nashville, and to talk to us all about it. Genevieve Fisher herself. We went down to her home in London, Ontario and talked to Genevieve and uh, we're going to let her share her story with you right here. So take a look at this, Genevieve Fisher. Well, here we are on the show and we're very, very excited. Uh, we mentioned last week, of course, it's our anniversary, our one year anniversary and our internet world premiere. And I promised you, and we have her here, a Canadian country singer, and very, very excited. She's one of the most uh, played independent artists on national country radio. She had an album back out in 2010, and many single hits since then, and we're excited to have Genevieve Fisher. Hello, Genevieve. Hey, how's it going? Awesome. Thank you so much for the time here. We're in your home, and yeah. a wonderful home. And uh, We've got so much to talk about here. Yes. You've had a very busy year. Uh, recently in the summer, but before we get into that, let's let's talk about you. You've you've been fortunate enough to uh, open for some very exciting acts. Could you share that? Yeah, for sure. So, um, my first opening act was for Crystal Shawanda, and that was in 2010. And this was a really big show for me because it was the first time I was performing live with a band on stage. Right. Prior years, it was always my backup tracks. So um, this was new for me. Um, following that, I opened up for Hunter Hayes and David Nail here oh, wow. in London. And uh, in May, uh, this this past May, I opened up for Dean Brody in um, Windsor. So 
I've had some amazing opportunities. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now you uh, uh, you come from a native background. I do. Uh, could you could you share that and 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 also in sharing that, share what kind of support you've had from the native yeah, community? Yeah, for sure. A lot of my support comes from my community, and um, a lot wouldn't have been possible without them. Um, my first CD, which is called Without Borders, um, wouldn't have been possible without them. So a huge thank you to them. And uh, yeah, great support. We, we do what we can to give back. We do lots of performances out there. So it's, it's awesome. Right. And uh, you've been traveling recently, of course. Uh, you've, you just recently had the privilege of being down at the CCMA Awards. Yes. How exciting was that? That was amazing. That was um, my first time actually attending the CCMA Awards. And um, it was a whirlwind. It was very, very new. Um, I was meeting all types of people from the industry and uh, it was just a really great experience. Um, not only did we get to attend all all the events. Um, I performed at the New Artist Showcase right. along with seven others and uh, we were chosen out of about 120 candidates That's from great. Canada. So that in itself it had to be exciting and yeah. you mentioned some of the people that you've met down there you know it's always an opportunity to make some contacts and that as well. Has anything come out of being down at the CCMA Awards? Definitely we've we uh, got to meet so many artists and um, yeah it was it was kind of cool like we'd go to after parties and um, I bumped into Dean Brody, um, who else? Uh, Chad Brownlee, so oh, yeah. tons of great artists. And, um, you know, there have been a bit of talks about uh, a record label that I'm not going to say, but um, we've been in Intense. touch. Hint, hint. <laughs> we've been in touch, but we're still waiting. We don't want to rush into anything, but definitely things are happening awesome. slowly. Good for you. Yeah. Now, uh, let's talk to you even about the most recent travel that you had just yeah. at the beginning of October. Mm -hmm. You uh, were traveling down to Nashville. Yes. And when somebody travels to Nashville, there's something <laughs> going on. What, what, what was the purpose of getting down to Nashville? So I was recording five new songs and and um, I had, have co-written um, these five with uh, Jennifer Schott, who's from Nashville. Right. She was here um, in London in August, and we actually sat right in this room. Awesome. And we co-wrote these five songs. So uh, I was down there recording those uh, new ones. And we've actually just released one of those to radio, which is called Shut Down This Day. Your most recent single. Yes. And uh, right before that, of course, uh, your hit uh, July. Yes. Climbing the charts even still. Yeah. And so Shut Down This Day is already doing very, very well for Yeah, me. yeah. Um, but you talk about co-writing. I mean, yes. that has to be exciting too, because not always does the singer uh, even have any involvement with the writing. Exactly. So, so how did you? How were you able to come along with being a co-writer with that as well? Um, Jennifer had co-written one of the songs um, on my first album, and um, so we kind of just thought, "What the heck? Let's let's see if she she'd be up for co-writing with me." So we got in contact with her and she said for sure I'd love to write with you so um, we've now had two writing sessions and um, yeah that's kind of how it got started good for you yeah and as we said both those hits about the most recent already climbing the charts for you yeah and lots of airplay yes we've gotten tons of airplay over the past two years and and it's been amazing because that in itself has really uh, promoted me and gotten my name out to um, Canadian radio stations yeah. all across Canada. So um, it's definitely been an amazing journey for me. Well, congratulations yeah, to you with those hits you. and everything you've done. And okay, well, let's talk about what's next for Genevieve Fisher. Um, well, I think our next step is actually doing my first uh, music video. And uh, we'll be doing that in the next coming months. And uh, the song is called Bad Enough, and that okay. will be um, my next release, I think, to radio. So in the next couple of months. Couple of months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So could we hold you to maybe a bit of an exclusive on that and then see in the video here? Yeah, for sure. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Is there anybody uh, in particular you want to say a shout out to or hello or thanks or anything you want to add? Oh, man. Just to everyone who supported me, my fans, everyone who's bought my singles on iTunes, yeah. um, all my followers on Twitter and uh, my Facebook fans. So um, just to everyone who uh, follows me, it's, awesome. it's awesome to have their support. We follow you on Twitter, by the way, just so you know. You better. <laughs> and thanks, you know, again, this is our, our anniversary, our yeah. one year and internet world premiere. So thanks yeah. for being a part of that. Well, thank you for having me on this amazing uh, premiere. You're welcome. Yeah. Now, uh, we're gonna wrap up here with Genevieve, but we're gonna play a song here. 
Yes. And or is this going to be shut down this day? Is that what we're yes. going to play for you? Yes, you guys are going to play that one, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Genevieve, once again, thank you so much and yeah. all the best of luck. And we'll keep following you on Twitter and the rest of your career and you stay yes. in touch with us. Yes, I will for sure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Once again, here on the Internet World premiere and our one-year anniversary, we had the privilege of talking here with Genevieve Fisher. And right now, turn up the speakers. Mm -hmm. You're going to listen to Shut Down This Day with Genevieve. Awesome. Genevieve Fisher, thank you so much for that interview. What a pleasant young lady, and she really has got so much talent there. You heard her new hit single, Shut Down the Day, and we're going to be hearing more from her. And she promises to stay in touch, and uh, she's got a video coming out, as she mentioned, and we'll be sure to have that here eventually on the show. Thank you so much to Genevieve Fisher for having us in her home in London, Ontario. Check out her website. It should be on your screen right there. Thank you, Genevieve. All right, got to take a quick break. Uh, just before I do go to this break, I want to tell you, one of our biggest supporters in Sarnia, Ontario, aside from all the viewers and everybody else involved in the show, Cheeky Monkey, are located here in Sarnia, Ontario. Great supporters of local and independent talent here in Sarnia, Ontario. Roland and Marianne down at Cheeky Monkey here in Sarnia. Thank you so much for all your support. And they're going to continue to be here on the show. We're going to change things up just a little bit. But if you want to know what's happening here in Sarnia, Ontario, local events, special events, and everything else right online, be sure to check out CheekyMonkeySarnia.ca. So take a look at this, and then we'll be right back. Cheeky Monkey, the greatest TV store. Cheeky Monkey, movies and more. Cheeky 
Mickey Monkey, the greatest CD store in town. Cheeky Monkey, the greatest CD store in town. It's Halloween. <laughs> I'm trying to be a pirate. I don't know how good I am. Did you hear about that new movie? It's rated R. Yeah. I don't know. What can I say? It's Halloween, right? So I had to get dressed up somehow, and I don't do the mask very well. Careful. I can hear what you're saying out there about the mask thing. Never mind. Yes, stop it. Here we are. It's Halloween. It's our anniversary, and it's our internet world premiere. And I got to tell you, I had a lot of fun with this Halloween theme this year. Especially, I had a chance, if you watched last week's show, to visit with... Stop laughing. It's not funny. You like the earring, by the way? Did you check that out? There's the earring. Yeah, okay. You want to know who does my hair, do you? Okay. Anyway, we had some fun with Cheryl Veery from FieryFaces.ca and Fiery Faces Carbon Pumpkins to raise money for Harmony for Youth. And this has been going on for a few years. And you should see something popping up on the screen, right? Popping, popping, popping. Say that five times fast. Popping up on the screen. So you can click on that if you want to watch last week's episode with Cheryl Veria. You want to know what FieryFaces.ca is? Go to FieryFaces.ca, check it out, and watch last week's episode on there as well. Now, not only did we uh, get a chance to have an interview with Cheryl, but this past weekend, Saturday, October the 27th, we were out at DeGroote's Nursery here in Sarnia, Ontario. And they had pumpkin carving, and they had cookies you could make, and face painting, and they had a slingshot for pumpkins. And Cheryl has told me that they have raised over $3,000 uh, so far to date with this Fiery Faces. And that money is all going to stay right here in Sarnia, Ontario for Harmony for Youth. And every year they pick a different uh, charity, nonprofit, if you will. And uh, so we'll be looking more for that coming up next year. Now, we are going to be looking for Rick Mercer. Uh, they do a, a pumpkin dunk and all the pumpkin goo and everything. And Cheryl was in there this year. We're looking and we're going to be mentioning every week. We're trying to get the attention of Rick Mercer to see if we can get him here in Sarnia for next year. Uh, I believe it's going to be October the 26th. Uh, see if we can get him dunk. And, I don't know, sometimes I talk too much. But I did promise Cheryl... I will volunteer myself to be dunked as well. I'm sure there's a few people around that wouldn't mind dunking me into some gook. So keep watching. Uh, we're going to be mentioning that all throughout the year as to how we're going to get Rick Mercer here in Sarnia, Ontario, and how you can dunk me as well. Yeah, I can see the wheels turning with you, everybody out there already. But thank you, Cheryl Veery, for doing a great job. So far, over $3,000, and next week we'll have a final update as just to how much money was actually raised. All right, going to take another quick break, and when we come back... Some funny things, blast from the past right here on the show. Stay with me. You see there's someone who's been waiting for you Quietly hoping and praying For your sweet and safe arrival Down on Sweet the touch the 
All right, welcome back. Once again, our one year anniversary here on the show. It's also Halloween and it's also our internet world premiere on the Southern Star Network. Thank you, Southern Star Network, for allowing me to be a part of your network. So excited. Many big things going to be happening with the show, and that's all part of all the viewers and our new audience all throughout uh, quite a lot through Europe. And thank you, Southern Star Network. Uh, should check it out. Make sure to check out the rest of the website at southernstarnetwork.com. And you will be able to see, here's what's going to happen. Everybody's been asking. Okay. Every Wednesday, 8 o'clock Eastern, the show will be available on southernstarnetwork.com. You won't be able to see it on YouTube or my website or anything else until the following day on Thursday. So if you want to see the exclusive all up front, go to southernstarnetwork.com. And then after that, you'll still be able to see it on YouTube and Cheeky Monkey website and everywhere else we've got it. But exclusively every Wednesday, 8 o'clock Eastern, we're asking you to turn 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 in tune in there you go see say it five i'm just so excited what can i say i'm like a kid stop laughing at me i'm being me all right so there you go southern star network check it out every wednesday eight o'clock eastern exclusively on the southern star network all right well here's the deal okay we got one year we got the world premiere we got halloween we got so many things happening here I just went through so many clips and editing takes a lot of time and everything but what I decided I wanted to share with you is let's go back to episode number one I want to show you a little bit of clip of this and then we'll show you some as we progressed into where we are now and I think you're gonna see quite a bit of change so take a look at some of this and then we come back I'll have some more to talk and share with you right here on the show one year anniversary and internet world premiere take a look Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Tell me you're ready. Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for clicking on the show. And that's what it's called. It's called the show. I mean, how much simpler can you get than that? Okay. I want to keep it simple. It's going to be to this show. a little bit more fun stuff. And uh, well, take a look. That's all the time I've got for you this week. I'm going to play a couple little more things here for you. I hope you have a great week, and we'll see you next time on the show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. Once again, here we are. Thanks to all of you. This is episode number 21. Still going strong around here. And it's because all of you, most of you, are subscribing and sharing with five again on the show, and we've been talking about a band called Powerhouse. And we are down in the Powerhouse, Powerhouse, if you will. And you can see behind me, we got the five members of Powerhouse. Hi, everybody. It's David Burroughs here for the show with David Burroughs. I got to tell you, I just got home from the Rockin' Country Collide Tour oh my goodness what an incredible show so many people there two great bands but don't forget to tune in to my show the show with david burrows coming up wednesday i have exclusive footage interviews behind the scenes with fans the bands everything you don't want to miss my show on wednesday i just got home from the rock and country collide tour glenn sean all the people in the band the backstage crew the roadies, the fans, incredible. Listen, I just got home from the Rock and Country Collide Tour and it is incredible. <laughs> oh boy, there's been some big changes here on the show. In fact, most of you probably don't know this, but before I started episode number one as the show with David Burroughs, I actually had, I used to be on a local radio station, had a show called The Unexpected Hour. And when I started doing the video, I strictly did it on Facebook and I call it the unexpected hour, realizing that an hour was way too long. That's when some people said, you know, you should come up with a different name, but it's not really an hour. Uh, and maybe in later shows, I'll show you some of those clips. I have saved everything from episode number one to present day, including bloopers and stuff. Unfortunately, I didn't have all the time to go through them. But continuing on throughout the shows now, i bringing you all the interviews and exciting things that I will have. I'm going to start showing some bloopers at the end of the show from uh, day one to present day. So you can be sure to look forward to that. Now, in saying all of that, we've had some incredible interviews on here, uh, starting out locally as well. And I love the local. I love, I love everything that I get to do with this show. But I've had some opportunities to meet some people uh, quite well known. And... 
one of the people I got to meet was Brian Vollmer from Helix. Had a nice interview with him down in his home in London, Ontario. I've been able to meet Paul Hofford from Lighthouse. Most recently, David Wilcox. I got a chance to meet, and even though it was an off-camera interview, Gordon Lightfoot. And uh, I've just been so blessed with the opportunity here on the show. And it's uh, thanks to all of you. And the local media has been very, very supportive of my show. And uh, there's just such a long list. I really won't be able to get it on here. I won't be able to get it all on the ending credits. But you know who you are out there. Thank you so much. Now, one of my favorite interviews, and fortunately, I got to meet this gentleman. And we've stayed in touch. And we've established quite a nice relationship between us. Um, I was able to get a hold of him and come back here on the show for the one year anniversary. My friend, Marshall Dane, country singer, performer, from small to big venues, he does it all and he does it very, very incredibly. In fact, we had him down here in Sarnia at the Stubborn Mule this past, I believe it was March, he was down here with Helix as well. And Marshall and I, um, well, we have a lot of fun talking to each other. So Marshall said, love to be on your show again, David. So take a look at this interview with my friend Marshall Dane. We're just going to talk. Marshall and I are going to have some fun, a little bit about what he's doing and some fun and just some life things. So check out this interview with Marshall Dane, and then we'll have some more exclusive clips from the show right here. All right, here we are on the show, and again, very excited for our, our, our anniversary show, and we've got a whole bunch of special guests lined up here. And I thought it would be appropriate to bring back uh, someone who I, I've had the pleasure of meeting several times uh, on the internet and in person, and we've be, uh, become good friends. Marshall Dane, how are you doing, buddy? Right on, right on. That's awesome. You're always right on. And, and uh, we had a lot of fun there this past year when you were down here in Sarnia with Helix, and we had a chance to meet in person. And it seems like we've, we've kept a friendship going through via the internet or whatever social uh, things are. But uh, how are you doing? You, you had some R&R &R for a while, and what's going on with Marshall Dane? Marshall Dane is doing great. Feels great. Um, I did a little vocal rest, which, as we were talking earlier, I never do. Um, you know, I've never actually done that in my, in my entire life, my entire singing career. So um, it made a lot of sense to yeah. cancel you know, just my regular weekly shows uh, here in town, and um, and it feels amazing. And I and I'm I just feel more relaxed, and and all the promise of what 2013 is bringing on and what's to come. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just it's kind of like the little calm before the storm. That's cool. And you yeah. uh, you bought a motorcycle, <laughs> and uh, is that is that the bad boy and Marshall Dane coming out, or what's going on there? You know, I'm not too sure if it's the bad boy or the. Uh, the guy that just likes to throw on the helmet, feel the uh, adrenaline rush. Uh, Come on, that helmet doesn't mess up your hair, Marshall? Oh, I'm sure it does. <laughs> I guarantee it does. But I don't really worry about it because it can't look any funnier than my snow pants. <laughs> and you've been able to spend some more time with your dad as well. That's got to be awesome. I'm telling you, man, having this time off, I went a little batty. I'm a, I work a lot. I, I became a workaholic. I didn't know what it was like to have two weeks off, and I don't know anybody that just had two weeks randomly off last minute with it, like a two days' notice. So I found myself spending time by myself, and then I, you know, with the idea of the purchase of a motorcycle, my father and I decided to hang out a little bit more than normal. And next thing you know, it's more times in two weeks than we have in 20 years, but it's been awesome. <laughs> Good for you. How's the Rockin' Docs doing? You still rockin' Rockin' Docs? Yeah, man. I mean, I think they missed me while I was gone for two weeks, but uh, it's still, you know, it's one of those places that, with a little bit of perspective, like I was able to take over two weeks and step away from it, even while being in town and having somebody else fill in for me, yeah. I realize uh, I'm looking forward to moving on in my career, but that what Rock and Docs is for me and to me and what it should represent to other artists, you know, other young artists that are that are, you know, wondering how to become more proficient at your craft. Yeah. You need to find a room that allows you to do what you do. Maybe not at first, but it allows you to do what you do and then over time becomes a little bit of that living room feeling. And then you can practice things like when I say right on, you say right on. Right yeah. on <laughs> when you have four people or sixty people in that little bar. You've got, you know, you're practicing it, and then you do it in front of Alan Jackson's fans, and you get 25,000 people like, right on. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, awesome. it's, it's doing good. <laughs> you mentioned uh, Calgary Stampede. Did something happen with that? No, Stampede was great. Performed at the Stampede. That's what year. I mean, like you were down there, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. That was my first time at the Stampede, and um, I don't know, man. Uh, the hospitality that was happening through the staff and the other artists, um, um, the, like the friendship, the, the kindness, it was great, man. Like, yeah. what well-put-together show and what a very well-represented staff-wise uh, um, event. And, of course, I mean, I had the time of my life. You walk out on stage and there's 2,500 people at 2 o'clock in the afternoon that are raging at the front of the stage like this saying, feed us some energy and some great music. And then you walk out on stage and say, okay, boys, we got 45 minutes. Let's rip this up. <laughs> That's awesome. Good yeah. for you. It's, it's like that is a thrill, because eh? you, you, you get a lot of that energy going right before you uh, walk on stage there. I know you got a few things you do, and then you just give her. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like when you see those those fighters or whatever, and they kind of slap them in the face before they go on, you know, <laughs> just kind of toughen them up or something. So backstage, I try and get my band hyped, and then once the band's out there, because they always give me a little intro, um, I'm backstage just getting myself riled up. Yeah. Because... I mean, usually I'm, I'll get riled up so that no matter what the audience is like, they've got me at, at 120, 125. Well, I don't think your audience has a choice but to get excited. Yeah. You make them. Like, if you're here, man, you, you, you just, uh, you're going to soak up some of that energy from Marshall Bain. Yeah. Uh, listen, uh, you've been a little tardy on a couple of things, and I'm going to point that out. I don't know if it's you, but uh, we're looking for that iPhone app. What's up with that? Mm. <laughs> wow! You know what I should do? I should I should get my guy on the phone right now. <laughs> and have part of this interview. Get him on Facetime. Um, you know, it's. I'll tell you. Now, here's the other thing too. This is you got to learn a lot of patience in this business. Um, if I had all the money in the world, I'd be able to buy opportunities and pray that you're ready and that you're prepared to have them. A lot of people have the money, make the record, but don't actually have to spend enough time on the stage, that kind of thing. Yeah. So you learn a lot of patience, and similarly with the album that I'm, I'm getting ready to put out in 2013, that record started back you know, in, in 2011, yeah. the writing, and we were done it pretty much, the, the album was done by mid-summer, before I went away on Alberta tour. Um, but the patience is a virtue when you realize that, wait a second, for us to release next year around the March area, there's planning and there's, there's stuff that has to happen. It just takes some time. It doesn't just have to happen right away. And so with the app, you know, it's nice to get it and to have it right here right now. But um, we wanted it, I think, around March is when we really wanted it out. We were hoping for Christmas last year. That didn't happen. Then we were hoping for March. And here we are um, approaching this Christmas and. I'm pretty sure we're going to have it ready. You're not in trouble or anything. Like I'm, I'm not going to punish you or anything. I just <laughs> time in the business. It just takes it takes a little bit of time. You know? Absolutely, I totally understand. Stop. You can go to a company and say, "I need this app, and I need it made by Friday." Yeah. Here's five thousand dollars. Well, you yeah. have an app by Friday. Sure you would. It's a business. You tend to ask people for favors and help, and so yeah. I've got one of the best guys in the world working on it. But it's not the only thing he's doing, and he's he's helping a brother out. So it's right just on. when it's done, it'll be done. But well, I can't we'll, wait for it. Done. Yeah, we'll look forward to it for sure. I mean, I'm an Android guy, so I might have to wait even longer, I suppose. But uh, I, ha hard. I have my app, and it's on Android and not on iPhone. So there you go. <laughs> Marshall, i got to wrap things up. Uh, uh, cool. If you were an M&M, what color would you be and why? Red, 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 red. Why? And it's just because red's my favorite color, first of all, which I like the red in your shirt there. Um, <laughs> red's my favorite color, and the red guy is just kind of, he's hot. You know, he's just kind of, he's kind of a, you know, the red's the, the color of fire, and it's the color of... Well, Marshall uh, Day, uh, that suits you because you're always fired up, buddy. Right, man. Thanks so much for taking the time to be here on our anniversary show, and uh, look forward to, I still got to get down to Port Credit, and actually Glenn McKinnon from Third Wave uh, said that, uh, we were just talking about you the other day, said we got to get down there and uh, get down to Rock and Docks on a Tuesday night. We, so we're going to surprise you when you least expect it. That'll be cool, man. We're always rocking down there on Tuesday, so we'll have a good time whenever you choose to show up. Right on. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my good friend Marshall Dane joining us here on our anniversary show. Thanks so much, Marshall. Happy anniversary, Dave Burrows, on the show. One year, baby. Rock on. Thank you.
Marshall Dane, you are awesome. Marshall Dane is such a great performer, but he is a great person on top of all of that. And I'm very fortunate to have been able to stay in touch with Marshall, and we've established our special relationship. So, Marshall, thanks for taking the time. I know you're busy, but uh, you always have time for us here on the show, and I really do appreciate that. Now, I have some people that uh, word got out about the anniversary, of course, uh, not for lack of me putting it out there, but it seemed to spread all over, and people started sending me video clips. So, uh, I want you to take a look at these some very special people who took the time to send me some video clips to wish me a happy anniversary. Take a look at this, and then I'll be back to wrap up the show. Happy first birthday to the show from Sunny Rocks, Falcom. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, Dave Burroughs. How you doing, bud? Good to see you again. I understand you uh, celebrating uh, one year now of uh, being on the air with your program, The Show. And this is the uh, world premiere of it coming up here pretty soon. So uh, I'm asking all you guys to watch Dave's show to tune it in. It's going to be really good. Has been so far. Thanks, Dave. Hi, this is Glenn McKinnon from Third Wave, and I'd like to wish a wholehearted congratulations to David Burroughs and the show on his worldwide internet premiere on the Southern Star Network. boy, Dave. Congratulations, Dave, on first year anniversary of the show. It's been lots of fun. I've been on it a couple times and I thank you for the spins and uh, congratulations also on the world premiere of Southern Star Network. Looking forward to uh, seeing you on there as well. Thank you. Go ahead. Well hey Dave, I heard you and the show are having an anniversary. Happy anniversary to the show and to you from Whiskey Rain and everybody in the band. And congratulations on your world premiere on the Southern Star Network. You rock, buddy. Back to my book. Go ahead. Hey, Dave. Congratulations on one year of the show. It is the show to watch for all the entertainment information in Sarnia. And congratulations on signing up with the Southern Star Network. It's going to be great, and it's been awesome watching you evolve over the last year. Show number one sure is different than show 51. Congratulations and all the best to you. Hi everybody, it's Kat sending a message from the road. On behalf of Everglow, we would like to congratulate Dave Burroughs and the show on their worldwide broadcast and wish them a happy birthday. Happy birthday! Uh, David Burroughs and the show, congratulations on one year. We're celebrating with some deviled eggs let's, here this let's morning. Let's do a cheers. All right, cheers. okay, deviled eggs. I'm George Hayes from the Fox Morning Show. That's Sarah Webley. Uh, to the show. Hey, oh, there, to the show. One, one year. year. Oh, oh. Down the hack. <laughs> I'm Max Major from the K106.3 Morning Show. I'm Heather Manners. I'm Rob Jenkins. And we want to wish you a happy one year anniversary on the show, David. Congratulations. Number one show in Sarnia Lampton. Keep on trucking. Oh. Hi Dave, Panda Cat here, wishing you a happy birthday anniversary on the show. There. Happy birthday to the show from Sarnia Rocks. Yeah. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, Dave Burroughs and the show. Hi, it's Denise Chalk and Dave Chalk from Whiskey Rain. Uh, we want to wish you, Dave Burroughs, and the show a happy first anniversary. Uh, thank you for supporting local entertainers um, for the past year. Yeah, it's we, awesome, Dave. Yes, Good job. and we wish you well in your upcoming uh, in your upcoming shows. So, from us and Whiskey Rain, happy anniversary. Take care. Hey everybody, this is Sean Hogan, David Burroughs, happy anniversary, well done sir, all the work you're doing with your program called The Show, and I wish you many happy returns and many years to come, and thank you for your contributions to social media and entertainment and information. So, from right here in Victoria Park, London, Ontario, happy anniversary. Hey David, congratulations on The Show, one year, wow, it's amazing how time flies. And congratulations on being picked up by the Southern Star Network for your world internet premiere. That's awesome. Way to go, buddy. Hi, this is Kevin Thorne from Basement Waffle 3 Web and Graphic Design in Sarnia. I'd like to congratulate David Burroughs on the show's anniversary and also on his upcoming world internet premiere. Hey, Dave. Congratulations on your one year anniversary of the show. Thank you for featuring me and supporting local talent. It's nice to know we can be noticed for what we love to do. 
And also, thank you for touching on other subjects such as bullying. It's a worldwide issue that everybody needs to be aware of. Again, congratulations, and I wish you many more successful years with the show. Happy, Happy birthday, Dave Burrow Show from, from Mama, Mama Bean. Bean. Hey everybody, Chris Molino here. I just want to congratulate David Burroughs on his one year anniversary of the show and also for his internet world premiere. I think that's really awesome. I've been a huge fan of his work. And if you're watching this, please subscribe to David Burroughs and share it with five new friends every day, like he always says. Let's hope that the show will continue on for several more years. Take care, everybody. Hi, Dad. Just wanted to say good job, and I hope your world premiere goes well. <laughs> I hope your world premiere goes well as well. Bye, Daddy. We love you. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, those people taking all the time. Thank you so much. It was very overwhelming. I had so many video clips that uh, I just didn't have time to get them all on here, so I'm sorry if yours didn't make it, but know that I did watch all of them. About 62 video clips were mailed to me, uh, so thank you so much, everybody. It really, truly uh, means a lot to me. i got to tell you, I'm so blessed to be able to do what I do and love what I do and to be able to share it with all of you. And I promise you, I will keep the roots of Sarnia, Ontario on this show. But now, also, thanks to SouthernStarNetwork.com, I'll be able to bring you celebrities and independent artists from all over the world. And I'm very, very excited about the things that are coming with the show. Some things that are already in the works I can't quite share with you yet because I want to make sure they're in place. But big things, even bigger, are coming with the show with David Burroughs. And again, it's thanks to all of you, and I will never, ever forget the support from my local community here in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. So thank you so much. Now, some special people, extra special, if you will. If you watch the end of those clips there, my son and daughter, Julie and Jason. Thank you so much, Julie and Jason. Mwah! I love you both so much, and they've been very patient when uh, Daddy gets busy sometimes and quite oh, can't always spend the time right away. I always make the time, but sometimes... Uh, they, they're pretty understanding. So thank you so much, Julie and Jason. I love you very much. One other person that's very, very important to me and has been supportive uh, without question here on the show and what I've been doing, and she was a little camera shy, but I want to say thank you to my wonderful girlfriend, Jennifer Moons. Jennifer, thank you so much for all your support, your understanding. Jennifer uh, has never questioned what it is I'm doing, even if she didn't always understand what I was doing. She knew I had a goal and a dream in mind, and she's been very, very supportive. So Jenny Moons, I love you so much and thank you for all your support. And local media, and, okay, you get the picture. Thank you so much. Now one more thing before I let you go. If you have a goal or a dream, here's what I wanna recommend you try. If you haven't done it, let me tell you, it works. Take a moment and write down your goal and your dream or draw a picture of what your goal or your dream is and look at it and read it every single day. Surround yourself with pictures. If you can see my studio, I've got pictures of places I want to go, cars I want to buy, things I want to do, things I want to do for my children, and surround yourself with the right people. Because I'll tell you, if you write it down and you surround yourself with the right people, you will achieve your goals and dreams. And I wish for all of you the same things that I've been able to achieve with my dreams. I wish for you all of your goals and dreams to come true. But you got to take action. So write them down and take action. And the first action I'd like you to do is go to my website, davidburrows.ws, and you're going to see an icon on there. You'll figure it out. And I want you to click on it, and I want you to listen to one of my world-famous favorite songs. It's my favorite song of all time. I'm a big Elvis fan. And even if you're not an Elvis fan, take the time to go and listen to this, If I Can Dream, by Elvis Presley. And listen closely to the words. And I wish you all your dreams come true. Thank you so much for celebrating with me here one year on the Southern Star Network right now and one year anniversary and Halloween. Be safe out there and be watching out for the children. Have a lot of fun. That's all the time I got for you. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a great week and an even better weekend. We'll see you next time right here on the show. Bye for now.